Hello, everyone. Welcome to our lesson this morning. My name is Brother Alan. I am one of our teachers here at Kids City. So we want to say welcome to our children. Welcome to our parents. I miss you guys. We all miss you guys, miss being with you. And what I want you guys to do right now is wherever you're at, I want you to give me a big smile. Give me the biggest smile that you can. Because today, boys and girls, we have a very special lesson for you. And today is a very special day anyway, because today is Easter Sunday. And Easter is always a fun day. And some of you, some of you boys and girls, probably got Easter baskets from a special guest, special rabbit. And wherever you're at, maybe you got some eggs and uh, candy in that. And if you did, that's great. And Brother Alan got some eggs as well. So let's see what, what I got. Maybe you maybe you got a, a smaller egg than this, but that's okay. So let's see what's, what's inside. Let's see what we got here. Looks like a, a parachute. It's a parachute bunny. Maybe you guys got a parachute bunny. Let's see if it works. Okay, maybe you got a shiny blue egg that leaves glitter all on your hands. See what's inside here. Whoop. And it is, looks like a stretch, stretchy rabbit that I can twist and bend. That's pretty cool. And maybe, maybe you all got a ginormous egg. Wow, that's really, really big. Let's see what's inside it. It is, it's a selfie chocolate bunny. Bunnies don't take selfies, do they? I guess they do now. Brother Alan's gonna pull out his phone and we'll take a selfie with the selfie bunny. Well, that was some really awesome stuff. I hope you all had an awesome Easter as well. But boys and girls, today, again, is a very special day being Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday is not all about the Easter Bunny. I know, I'm sorry, but it is a fun day. But the Easter story, the Easter Sunday, is about a very special man named Jesus. Many of you know who Jesus is, but first and foremost, wherever you are, whether you're in your kitchen, in your bedroom, on your couch, in your living room, we want to welcome Jesus into our service today. We want to welcome him into wherever you're at, into your home. And so to do that, we are going to sing a worship song. And so when we worship Jesus, worshiping Jesus makes him happy. And so we're gonna sing our worship song right now. And it's very, very easy. It goes one, two, three, Jesus is alive. So sing with us. See 
Hi, boys and girls. That was awesome. You guys did an awesome job worshiping Jesus, and I know he loves it very, very much. Today, being Resurrection Easter Sunday, boys and girls, our object lesson today is discussing a tea bag. What is a tea bag, you say? Well, some of those of you might have already drank tea, but tea is a drink, similar to your chocolate milk or your apple juice and that. And Tea, similar to ice cream flavors, there are a whole bunch of different ice cream flavors, and there's a whole bunch of tea flavors. But for our demonstration today, at the top here, we have what is called the label. And attached to the tea bag is the string. And the string is represents the world, boys and girls. And the world wants you to love it. It wants you to love all the stuff in it and it doesn't want you to love Jesus. And so we are attached to the world and with our sin, we were not able, we are not able to get to heaven because in the beginning, Adam and Eve ate the fruit of the forbidden tree, which caused us to sin. And so we needed a savior. And so Jesus, boys and girls came and he made a way for us to be able to be saved again and be able to make it to heaven. And so he came and he died on the cross, which separated us from the world. And so now we still have the sin inside us, but what we have to do is we have to do three things. We have to, number one, repent of our sins. We have to say, sorry, Jesus, for all of the bad stuff that I've done. And I want you to forgive me, Jesus, of what I've done and take it all away. And the second thing, boys and girls, then, is that we have to be baptized in Jesus' name. And when we're baptized under the water, Jesus will wash away all our sins. And so what we're going to do is we're going to remove all of the sin. We're going to remove all the sin out onto the plate. And so now we are washed away all the sin all the sin, all the dirty stuff is out of us. But Jesus said that there's one other thing that he wants to give us that we need to do in order to be saved. And that is, boys and girls, to receive what is called the gift of the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost, which is the Spirit of Jesus living inside of us. And when Jesus died on the cross, he was buried. And when he rose again on the third day, he made a way for us to be able to be saved and a way for us to get rid of all the sin and be able to go and meet him in heaven. Because Jesus, in our story that you're going to watch here in a little bit, is that Jesus, after he rose from the dead, he went, he saw his disciples, and he ascended up into heaven. And boys and girls, when we receive the Holy Ghost, the same Spirit, the same Spirit of God, that lived in, that is in Jesus, and that is Jesus's spirit. When it comes and lives inside of us, Jesus said that one day he's gonna come back for us. And we who are saved and who are serving Jesus will be caught up in the air with him. Boys and girls, when we receive the Holy Ghost, the same spirit that of Jesus that lives inside us will help us 
And when Jesus comes back, we will raise up in the air and meet him in the clouds, it says. And we will be caught up together with him to live forever in heaven. And so that, boys and girls, is the true Easter story about how Jesus made a way for us to get rid of sin and so that one day we could go back and live in heaven with him one day. And that is the true Easter story. And now, boys and girls, I want you to enjoy this video of Jesus and the Easter story. On the day of his death, soldiers surrounded Jesus and treated him terribly. Hail the King of the Jews, they snickered, as they pressed a crown of thorns onto his head and hit him over and over with a staff. But Jesus was silent. He didn't speak up as they told lies about him or laughed at his pain. This was the very reason he came into the world. Jesus would give his life to save the world from its sin. Like an innocent lamb, he was led to his death. Jesus was forced to carry his cross up a hill called Golgotha, which means place of the skull. It was a horrible place, and there Jesus was hung on a cross between two criminals. Those who passed by shouted insults at him. He saved others, but he can't save himself. If you are so powerful, come down off that cross. But Jesus wouldn't come down. He had chosen to die. He had chosen to love the world so deeply that he would give his life away to save it. As Jesus got closer to death, the sky became black. And from the darkness, Jesus cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Shortly after, Jesus cried out again, and then died. At the moment of his death, there was a violent earthquake. Inside the temple, the thick curtain that once separated a holy god from sinful man tore from top to bottom. These events terrified the soldiers who were there, and they confessed, this has to be the son of God. Late in the afternoon, Jesus' body was wrapped with cloth and placed in a tomb. This tomb was carved from rock, and a huge stone was rolled over the entrance. Jewish leaders remembered that Jesus claimed he would rise from the dead after three days. They feared his disciples would steal his body and claim that Jesus had risen. These Jewish leaders demanded the tomb be made secure. Roman soldiers were ordered to seal the tomb and stand watch outside of it. Three days later, early in the morning, two women who had been followers of Jesus went to see the tomb. Suddenly the earth began to shake beneath their feet as an angel came down from heaven and rolled away the stone from the entrance of the tomb. The angel shone like lightning, and the Roman soldiers standing guard fell to the ground like dead men. But the angel proclaimed good news to the women. Jesus is not here. He is risen. Hurry, go and tell the disciples. The women ran from the tomb, astonished at what they had just seen. Filled with joy, they ran to tell the disciples what the angel had said. Suddenly, a man was standing in front of them. Good morning, the man said. The women realized that it was Jesus standing before them, and they fell to his feet and began to worship him. Jesus told them not to fear, and then he told the women to tell the disciples to go to Galilee and that he would see them soon.
Later, the disciples went to the mountain in Galilee where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw Jesus, they were amazed. The disciples, filled with joy, worshipped him. Jesus was alive. He had risen from the dead just as he had promised. Jesus then gave his disciples a very important mission. Go, tell the world the good news about me. Make disciples and teach people to obey my commands. And to this very day, the good news of Jesus' death and resurrection is being shared around the world. Boys and girls, thank you so much for being with us today and our lesson. We hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful Easter, and we want you to remember that the true Easter story, the true meaning of Easter, the reason why we celebrate Easter, is because of how Jesus came back, died on the cross, and rose again from the dead in three days, and made a way for us to be able to be saved so that one day we could live in heaven with him. Boys and girls, before we go, Brother Alan wants to say a quick prayer for you. And I want you to bow your heads and pray with me. Those of you who have been in our class before know what uh, I do um, and uh, have seen this before. So I want you to say it with me. I want you to say, I take my left hand and put it in my right. Then I pray to Jesus morning, noon, and night. So Brother Allen's gonna pray now. Dear Jesus, we love you. We thank you, Lord, for your sacrifice for us. We thank you for coming here, dying on the cross, raising again on the third day, and making a way for us, Lord, because you love us so much, and that you died and gave yourself so that we might be, able, be saved and be able to live again in heaven with you. And I pray, Lord, for each boy and girl, every parent that is listening here this morning, that you would speak to their hearts, speak to their minds, go, and I pray that you would just let them feel your presence, Lord, to let them know that you are alive and real and that you love each and every one of them very, very much. And I pray in Jesus' name that you'd send your angels around every single one of them protect them, Lord, through this time, keep them safe, and pray that you to bring them back safe and next time for our next lesson and whenever we get to meet again. We love you, Lord, and ask this in Jesus' name. And everybody said, amen. Thanks, everyone, for joining us this week. We hope you have a great Easter, and we'll see you next time. Take care, and God bless.